Hey guys, it's Jess, and I'm back with another video on my channel, A Card Day's Work. Today I'm featuring some cute new stamps from the Hedgehog Hollow. This is from the July box, and it is so stinking cute. I thought I would make a super quick and simple card. This really took like no time at all, uh, and I really, really love how it turned out. I've been experimenting more with clean and simple cards lately, and I have been absolutely loving them. I hope that you guys are inspired by them as well. All right, so to get started with this card, I'm just stamping out this cute little pug image holding a heart. It's adorable. Can you even? <laughs> uh, and then I stamped another copy of the pug on a piece of a post-it note. This is a full sticky back post-it note, which is sticky on all of the back except for the little flap. So it's kind of like a reverse post-it note. Um, and then I cut that out with some sharp scissors to create a mask so that I can do some ink blending and not get any of the color on top of my cute little puppy. So I decided to mask off the bottom portion of the card so that I could put my sentiment down there and also to continue that whole clean and simple sort of vibe that I have been going for. So the bottom is all open white space and then the top is going to be filled with my ink blended section. Uh, now I did go ahead and tape this down using some uh, purple tape on the front. That is a like post-it note tape but you could use anything you have just to mask off the bottom. The only reason I put it there is to make sure no ink gets down there and I have a nice crisp line uh, where my ink blending stops. You could also use something like Pixie Spray to hold your stencil in place, or you could also uh, use something like the Make Art Station to uh, magnetically hold the stencil in place so that you didn't have to worry about it shifting, but I used the tape for this and it worked just fine. I'm using some Distress Oxides here to blend on a cute little bit of pink. I started with Spun Sugar, then moved on to Warm, uh, Worn, not Warm, Worn Lipstick, uh, and then I finish it off with some picked raspberry. I love this color combination. It's so sweet with the little dog. I don't know. I thought it just looked adorable. I'm really happy with the way that that turned out. So I wanted to be able to uh, go ahead and coordinate the cute little puppy with that color combo. Once I peel this off, you can see I've got a beautiful crisp white background down at the bottom. No worries at all there. I did go ahead and use a glitter pen. This one is a Wink of Stella pen. Uh, unfortunately, there was a little bit of color left over on the brush tip from something that I had done previously, so I did get a little bit of color transfer when I first put it down. I would definitely make sure you kind of try brushing it off on a uh, like a paper towel or a scrap piece of paper or something before you start just to make sure that doesn't happen to you. Overall, I didn't think it was a huge deal, so I just left it as is. All right, so I went ahead and chose the sentiment Pugs and Kisses because I thought this would be a great card just to have on hand for any occasion that I wanted to send. Uh, and then I stamped that out a couple times using my Mini Misty. I peeled off the mask, and there you can see I've got a super cute little pug all ready to be colored up. I did go ahead and add some shadowed layers at the bottom so he's not just floating in midair or she. I guess it could be a girl or a boy. Either way, adding a shadow there so it grounds the dog and makes it look like they're actually on the ground. <laughs> uh, and then I went ahead and started coloring in the cute little heart. I am going to pop on some music while I finish the coloring and I'll be right back with you guys to finish off the card.
All right, now that our coloring is all finished, we can go ahead and complete the card. All I did here is trim off the excess a little bit. I didn't quite go to the edge with my ink blending, so I ended up trimming this panel down a little smaller than I normally do. I trimmed it down to 3.75 by 5, and it still mounts perfectly on an A2 size card base. Uh, it's just a little bit of a smaller uh, footprint, I guess, than it would be normally if I left it at 4 by 5 and a quarter. I actually really like the way the larger border looks, so I think think this is perfect. Uh, that finished off the cards, you guys. I loved it. Super simple. I hope you love it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you in another one really soon.